Jake, what does it mean to get an opportunity to play in 500 games? Oh, yeah. And you look at the path it's taken to get this far. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a long road, um, but it's, it's, it's been a good one. Um, you know, a little different path to get here, but uh, uh, we made it. So, um, you know, it'll be exciting to, to get this one out of the way and, and continue moving forward. What would you go back and tell the kid at the start of the year back in 05, 06, whenever that yeah, was? Yeah. Um, that's a long time ago. Um, you know, just believe in yourself and, and uh, I don't know, trust the process, I guess. It was, uh, things didn't look too good back then. Um, being hurt and surgery and, you know, all the first round pick and then not playing for a year and a half and stuff like that. So it was hard on, on, on myself, but, uh, you know, it made me a little bit stronger today, so. Jake, who would you like to thank? Um, well, one, the surgeon uh, fixed me up, actually, and um, Rich Rotenberg, who is uh, part of the Marlies now, he helped me out a lot when I was younger, too. Uh, he was actually my trainer for a few years. He really uh, helped me move move better and, and look after this injury. So um, parents, family, um, you know, support and, and uh, always being in my corner. So uh, those are a few. In moments of self-doubt, if you had any over the years, what kept you going? Uh, again, family and, you know, the, the support that I had from, you know, agents, trainers, family, um, belief in myself and, um, you know, being able to, to fight through some adversity when I was younger. Um, you know, they, they all helped. What have you thought of the fan reaction here so far? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been outstanding. Um, it helps when you have a good team, a good, you know, like I, I was touching on earlier, it was just a good plan, good coaching and, um, you know, it's it's made a, a, a smooth transition for me. What's been you your uh, LA weather <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this, the walk this morning <laughs> so, you know, made me realize I'm back in Canada. So uh, it's fine. You know, I just I miss it a little bit, but not too much. What uh, What do you remember growing up about the Battle of Ontario? And what memories do you have? From oh, I, I not not many. I mean, just. Just grew up a Leafs fan, and, and um, you know I, I wasn't really big on the Battle of Ontario, but it was more in our house. It was a battle between um, the Leafs and Montreal. My dad was a Montreal fan, and uh, growing up with all the, all my buddies were all Leafs fans, so that was more of a battle than Ottawa. No, you're new here, obviously, but what do you think the commitment that both the Leafs have made them Boston and Boston yep. made them the team? Yeah, it's it's great. Um, you know, I've only been here a short time, but. Um, from what I've seen, to, to get a player like that locked in for uh, a while is um, is crucial to um, a team going forward. Um, you know, Austin's a great player, I've, better than I. You know, I've only seen him a few times playing against them, but when you practice with him and, and play with him, you see some stuff that um, you know makes him an elite player. It's only been a few games, but what's the biggest difference you've noticed between the Eastern and Western Conference? Oh, I, well, I. Th I th it's it's been a lot faster. I mean, especially on on this team, the guys are. Um, I find they a lot faster. Um, you know, a little bit more skill, not as not as big and heavy. Um, but I, I, like I said earlier too, it's, I think that's the way the game is trending. So. Morgan was saying that it's impressive your ability to to find a big hit in the era where things are getting so fast. How did that skill, I guess, refine itself for you? Let's, well. Coming up in the West and playing in LA, that's kind of what we, that's what we were bred on. Really, it was like, um, you know, I learned from uh, older guys on my team that that were doing that, and and that was kind of just how how we did it to be successful. Um, so I mean, things have changed a little bit. There's not as many big open ice hits or, um, you know, stuff like that. But still trying to close guys and, and make a hit when you can is I think is an important part of the game still. Yeah, d you know he's, uh, <laughs> yeah he he's always been able to to find guys and and uh, he's really good at stepping up and closing guys. Um, you know I talked to him a little bit actually about if I do end up on the right side on you know some certain ways to to close guys and catch them. So um, yeah, I've definitely seen a, a lot of Dion highlights with the hits. Yeah. Do you have any words of wisdom for you about this market or? Um, 
Well, you said it, w it would settle down after a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> still, still a little bit. Uh, still, yeah. <laughs> still waiting. 2024, 2024 I think. <laughs> yeah.